We want to thank you for watching this video from Carrollton City Limits. If you like this video, we're going to ask you to please like, share, and subscribe to the channel that you're watching this on. So, this flashback video happened on March 11th of 1959 in Dallas, Texas. Even Elbows haven't much room in the city zoning hearing in Dallas, Texas. The North Dallas Zoning Committee opened hearings on the proposed purchase by a Miami developer of the land where Jesuit High School stood that day. This was in the Dallas Oaklawn section. Attorney Lewis Nichols, representing Miami dentist Dr. Daniel Javinson, requests the zoning of 21 acres in question can be changed to accommodate his client's planned apartment, business, and hotel development. He says it would mean $300,000 a year in taxes for the city of Dallas, which now gets nothing from the tax-exempt Jesuit High School. Jesuit High School President Father Thomas Shields is in the audience. Jesuit High School, rimmed by Turtle Creek Drive and Blackburn Street and Oaklawn Avenue, was built in 1905 and is considered by high school officials to be obsolete. If developer from Miami buys the property for a reported $2 million, he plans to erect a 16-story apartment building, three 16-story office buildings, and a 200-room hotel. Parking for 2,800 vehicles would be 90% underground. The high school would be moved to an acreage recently bought at the intersection of Walnut Hill Lane and Inwood Road. Persons opposed to the zoning change get their chance before the committee. Art Willis, he's actually in favor of the fancy new development plans, but doesn't want to see Turtle Creek widened into a six-lane boulevard. He says, would run right in the middle of his living room when noses are counted in the crowded room. Those favoring the zoning changes are outnumbered two to one. Paul William, chairman of the Turtle Creek Neighborhood Association, says his group in chiefly concerned with keeping the beauty of the Turtle Creek area intact. People come from all over, he says, just for the beautiful scenery on Turtle Creek. Citizen Harold Sanders arrives with a handful of petitions signed he says by 300 persons who live outside the area in question, all of them against the proposed zoning change. He hands the petitions to the chairman of the North Dallas Zoning Committee, Edmund Kahn. Kahn notes that a similar zoning request has made several years ago, but it was turned down. The ruling on this application, he says, will come on March 19th of 1959. Thank you so much for watching this Texas flashback video. If you like this video, we're going to ask you please like, share, and subscribe to the channel that you're watching this on. Until next time, thanks y'all.